ought to encourage somebody and tell them how to go and get your healing. Praise God. See, what I like about this woman, I got some key points for you. What I like about this woman, she had a mission. And this mission required her to go on a journey. Meaning that she had to go into action and get up. How many of you tired of suffering and stuff and dealing with the same situation? Somebody tell that person next to you, it's time for you to get up and go and get your healing. Amen? Hallelujah. But not only did she have a mission, she pressed her way. Everybody say, press your way. This woman had to press her way through the crowd to get to Jesus. And as she says, she said, as, as to say, nothing can stop me from getting to Jesus. It said that the multitude formed the impressed thing, meaning that the people was physically against Jesus. So she had to fight her way through the crowd. She did not let the devil trouble her mind to say that I cannot get through this crowd. She did not let the spirit of doubt come in. Don't let nothing stop you from getting what the Lord has for you. You need to have determination. You need to get up and go and get your head. You need to desire your God. Amen. This is the time that you need to desire your even more. Amen. Because you're here today. If coronavirus did touch you, you're still here today. Amen. Glory. It didn't stop you from coming in here seeking God. And then three, she had faith. Amen. Now faith, it says in verse 23, demonstrate her faith. For she thought, if I touch his garment, I will be healed. You must have faith, but faith not alone. Put your faith into action. Faith without words is dead. Hallelujah. So sometimes we use scriptures, I can do all things to pray to give me strength. Yes. With God, all things are possible. By his stripes, I am healed. But soon as we get into a situation, we do not stand on God's word. We develop doubt. We are defeated by our own situation. You better learn how to speak to your situation. There's life and death in the tongue. Amen. Hallelujah. I come by to tell you that there's some mountains in your way. Some giants standing in your face. But I don't know what problems and giants you're facing. But I come down, I come by to tell you that God said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move here to there, and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. Let me say that again. Nothing will be impossible for you. So let me demonstrate that for you. If you have depression, you need to say to that mind of depression, move in the name of Jesus. If you're dealing with sex abuse, you need to say to that sex abuse, move in the name of Jesus. If you're dealing with whatever you're dealing with, but here there's a sickness, cancer, I need you to move in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I come by to tell you for your giants. I learned a man in first Samuel named David. Who was a man after God's own heart? David defeated the giant Goliath with a smooth song. He demonstrated his courage and faithfulness by killing that lion in the bear. How many know that the same God that delivered David out of the bear and the lion is the same God that will deliver you out of your situation? He will deliver you out of the hands of the enemy. Praise God.
code in, because anytime you hold more than 300 people yeah. in a church, then there's a whole lot of um, HVAC, heating and cooling um, requirements that you have to have fresh air circulating in, in the space. Amen? And so we thank God for that. We are compliant. We're ready. We prayed about it and we're, we're doing the virtual indoor now. If you feel comfortable inside, God bless you. If you feel comfortable outside, God bless you. Amen. But certainly we thank God for the fellowship the time that we have together. Amen. 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 We stay connected through it all. Amen. That's what Paul is saying. I don't let nothing separate me from the love of God. And uh, whatever it takes, we're going to come together. Forsake not the assembly of yourself. And we're always going to do it safely. And we're doing it. Uh, so everybody wearing their masks. Everybody got their to a personal size container of uh, hand sanitizer. Whenever you come into sanctuary, make sure you use the uh, gallon jugs. And you go to the bathrooms. We don't have people that sanitize those that you on your way out. Uh, you know, periodically. And so we just want to do everything we can. Amen. Amen. To make you feel comfortable. Every other pew, uh, more towards your pew, unless you're part of the same family or same household. Amen. So we thank you for being compliant. God bless all you that's on the parking lot. This time we're going to prepare ourselves for our giving. Amen. Prepare ourselves for our giving. Man, this uh, indoor outdoor worked out pretty good today. Amen. It worked out pretty good today. Go into the preparation and the, a lot of preparation go into making uh, this service possible. Amen. We thank God for all our technical people, sound, uh, uh, AV equipment, audio, video. Amen. It takes all of that musicians, praise team, preachers, and just you being in the audience to encourage them. Amen. Makes the body of God. That's why it says uh, we are all members joined together. Everybody don't do the same thing, but when we come together, we are forced to be ready with. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to prepare ourselves for giving you that's online, you that's uh, virtual. We, you can share this opportunity of giving. Uh, you can do it through our Cash App or through our Givelify. Uh, that's probably on your screen. The Cash App and they can Givelify. It's Healing Spring Baptist Church. Amen. And Givelify. Amen. And some of you just here, you just want to sow uh, with the envelope, just a traditional way of just giving it. Amen. Do it checks or whatever. Some of you can mail it. However you bless this ministry, we, we want you to be a blessing. We've been a blessing to you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Um, we get ready to go off the air. Amen. We're going off. For those of you, uh, we're preparing ourselves. We're giving. You don't have an envelope. You know, just let the nurses or the deacons know. And they'll give you one. Amen. We certainly thank God for you. Thank you. Brother Cheese, and thank you for Nita, amen, for giving us uh, your tithes and your offering. Certainly, we thank God for you, amen, and uh, we're going to go off the air now, amen. We're going to do so into this.